Um, the next question, um, can you tell us about holding the reins when playing a shot, um, angle of the left arm, etc.? Yeah, so <clears throat> one of the biggest things I see, okay, and obviously, sorry, I'm look a little bit back to front of the camera here, <clears throat> my left hand, okay, holding the reins. When I try and turn to play a shot, if I don't allow my elbow to travel mm. with my shoulder as I turn, okay, and it doesn't have to be far, but as I'm turning, I have to allow, keep my hand still. That's the most important thing because that's how you're directing your horse. So even if you're turning to play the shot, you have the lateral movement and the back and forwards movement to slow your horse, let it um, speed up, take it left, take it right. But if you don't allow that shoulder to travel with your shoulder slightly, what happens is you now in this seat and you try and get your shoulder back and you can't because you're not allowing that shoulder turn, I mean the elbow to travel forward with the shoulder turn that allows you now um, to get your shoulders and your hand in line. That's the most important thing in the swing plane. So as you turn, it's um, shoulder, shoulder, hand, all in a straight line coming down, to, you know, as you start to swing down to the ball. And that will happen as you allow that left elbow to come with your shoulder in the turn. Now, <clears throat> from a near side, what you're wanting is that horse is going to want to go with your body. You need to make a slight seat adjustment, put your left butt cheek up on top of the saddle and then kick into that left stirrup and, and into the right stirrup to get really firm. But you've made a little half turn there. Now, as you play a near side forehand, you drag your weight left. So what you want to do is almost do the old cross my heart, you know, where your left hand is very much keeping the horse away from the ball as you play these backhand or forehand on the near side. You've got to take that left hand across you and hold the horse away from the ball without coming across it. Otherwise, with the forehand, you always end up with the horse um, sort of in, in the way of the mallet and you play a little neck shot. Or if you're playing a near side backhand, the horse's head's away and you can't get the angle you're looking for. You've got to keep that horse straight, play the ball wide on the backhand and the forehand, and that gives you the swing forwards and the angle backwards. So number that, um, the left shoulder on the offside and the hand on the near side has got to move to your right-hand side to keep that horse straight. <clears throat> 